Okay, the, the previous tutorial I showed you how to use Canva Pro to create a stencil where you can place a photo or a background behind a letters or words, um, a whole bunch of words instead of just one um, letter, uh, a background behind one letter. Um, this time I'm going to show you how to use the free version of Canva to do the same thing. Um, so uh, let's get started by creating a um, Facebook cover and I am going to place uh, an element um, in this on this page like I did uh, before. So I'm just gonna select the, the square element. Now keep in mind that you can also uh, place other types of uh, images uh, in here, like um, a shape um, like kind of a weird shape like that. Um, you can you can do use this too or or any you know any other kind of shape um, really um, but um, you know I'll, I'll use this for now just to kind of show you um, the difference so um, that's my shape there uh, I'm gonna add uh, text to this um, so I'm going to add a heading in here. I'm going to put some text in here like, um, I'll put beautiful. Um, and I'm going to make this white. It's important that you make the text white and the um, the background of the text or the shape of the, the 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 background a darker color. So I'm just going to change um, the color maybe um, to red. Now it doesn't really matter um, uh, what color, but it does have to be like a darker color. Um, so um, yeah, it does have to be a a, a darker. Um, color well something that's going to match right with um, the photo that you're planning to put behind behind um, the the letters um, so right now I've I've selected red I've got no clue what I'm going to put behind here but um, hopefully it's going to work out um, I'm just going to increase the size of my font Okay, there you go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to um, download this image and um, we're going to save it. We're going to save it um, in our files. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and I am going to download. I'm going to um, save it as a PNG and um, of course with the free version you don't have an uh, option to make a transparent uh, background. Um, but essentially that's what we have to do is we have to make it transparent behind these letters. So I'm going to download this. 
and um, save it as it is. Okay, so that now that that's been uh, downloaded, um, what you'll need to do is you're going to need to um, download a program called a Photo P. Photo P is um, absolutely free to download. Um, it does have these annoying ads on the sides, but um, you know, but it's it's well worth it if you ask me. Um, so. What you can do now is you're going to bring in your image that you downloaded from Canva, which is right here. And what you're going to do is you are going to come over to color range, which is right here, color range and you are going to take away you're going to click on the minus um, to take away the background um, okay you're going to press okay and now if you just backspace it's going to take away um, the background and just leave the um, stencil, the letters. Okay, so I just pressed the backspace key. Um, okay, so again, you come up here, you do color range, um, you press the minus, you press OK. Once you've done that, you come back here and you just press the backspace key. Um, took me a while to figure it out, even with a whole bunch of tutorials how to do this. Um, I found that people weren't actually saying, um, expressing what needed to be done. Um, uh, so I had to do a lot of guesswork to figure it out, but um, that's basically it. So what you're gonna do now is you are going to, um, you're gonna save this and it's just going to save over top your old file and that's okay. Um, so if you don't want that other file um, written over, I would copy and move it somewhere else. But I'm just going to press save and save changes. And now I'm going to come back to Canva. Uh, I am going to add a page just to Kind of show you the differences. Um, I'm going to come back here to upload and I'm going to upload files and here's that file that I edited. I'm going to open it up and here it is. I'm just going to put it in here and now um, this should be a stencil. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a photo to put behind here, um, something that matches. Um, so I'll just, um, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll search for a forest, something that's green. Um, okay. Uh, and now I'm just going to move this to the back or set it as the background. Okay, so I'm going to set the image as a background, and here it is. And now you can make it as big as you want. Okay, now just keep one thing in mind, which I, I learned the hard way, um, is that when you're selecting letters, the letters, um, to be stencil, make sure that you're not selecting letters um, that... Um, or make sure you are selecting letters that are smooth along the edges and, and aren't um, like raggedy. For example, uh, a font like this isn't a very good example um, of a font to use because what will happen is when you're trying to create that stencil background, 
um, you're going to get spots that are going to get missed. Um, so try and select a font that is smooth um, along the edges. All right, so um, here I've got my, my stencil. Um, I'm just going to click um, anywhere because I'm done. I'm just going to go back. And um, so I've got my stencil here pretty much. Um, you know that it's worked because when you click here, you can see the difference is that you see in here, there's no background. Uh, if you were, were to leave the letters um, the way they were with the A background, actually over here you can see it didn't totally take out the background. So what you can do is you can just decrease um, the brush size and uh, come in here and just try to very carefully take out the background. Um, and here again. Now, of course, you can make this, you can zoom in here. Of course, I can't because I, it's, I'm not sure what's happening with my mouse here, but in any case, um, I'll just try and there. So um, it does work. It's just uh, it was not working this one time, but it does it does work. Okay, so um, I'm going to go back here and um, I'm going to bring in a photo. Um, of something um, nice. For example, um, how about this? So I'm just going to um, set that as my background. And here is my stencil. And I can just position that however I like. Um, there you have it. There's um, that's how we've created a stencil. So if you're interested in um, how to do this with the free version of Canva, um, just click my other video and um, I'll show you how to do it with the free version. Now I want you to keep something in mind. Uh, when you're selecting a font, what you don't want to do is select a font like this because what will happen is when you go to try and remove the background, it's because the letters aren't smooth, it won't be able to totally um, remove the uh, background um, from um, the, the, the letter. You need to choose um, a font that is smooth um, to, to make it easier. So um, that's why um, over here we had a little bit of a problem with the um, background remover. It's because we didn't um, we didn't select a font that was smooth. But you know, if I change that font to something that's um, smoother, for example, um, bright. system. I'm just going to drag another page in here so that I can bring that in here. 
and let's take that out. I'm going to select here. I'm going to select Edit Photo. I'm going to select Remove Background. And if I come in here now, you'll see that it's all pretty, pretty evenly removed the background. So um, I'm just going to step back. I'm going to go back to my photo. I'm going to set it as my background. And there you have it. Okay. And there, there it is. This is a lot better than the previous one, where it was, you know, raggedy on the on the sides, and it didn't. Um, it didn't remove the background from the from the letter uh, where the edges were raggedy. So um, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you enjoyed watching and learning, give me a thumbs up. I'd love to get your support and subscribe for new content coming out. Bye bye.